have a purpose. I too have a purpose. Hello, my name is Justin Wilson. You're listening to Deprogrammed live on Radio Free Radio. And uh, if you dig the program, you dig this program, you dig all the fine programs from Radio Free Radio, please do us a favor and go to patreon.com slash Radio Free Radio. Give us a buck. It means the world to us and it helps keep us afloat and it helps us keep doing what we're doing and trying to uh, become bigger, better, better. And, you know... I want this to be my job. I'm, I'm not afraid to put that out there. Uh, and the easier it's easier to do that as a listener-supported station where we don't have to invade all our programs with, with commercials. And that's just that's what we want to do, is uh, keep commercials out of it. Now, you hear Insane Clown Posse in the background. This is the ringmaster's word. And um, first of all, fuck you if you're hating me right now, because I likes what I likes. And... You have some band in your past that, that you liked that people gave you shit for. So fuck you for putting that on me. Uh, I love ICP. I don't listen to it as much anymore as, I, as I've as uh, i grown up. And some of it doesn't hold up anymore to me. I mean, I'm going to be perfectly, perfectly honest. But uh, there was a time in my life where ICP was an everyday event. And I popped it in and I felt like I, I had a place in the world. And again, if you're if you want to look down on me for that, for finding a place, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> seriously, because sometimes that's what it takes. There's a, a musician, there's an artist, there's somebody that just connects to you, and you can't explain it. There's just a good feeling that you get when you listen to them, and I know you have something in your past that that you know for for whatever reason you feel shame about. I have no shame. I I am a I am a former juggalo. I'm I, with you. I don't, I don't hang no more, but I, you know, if you're a juggalo, cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, to me, it's not, I'm not down with the face painting shit anymore, Yeah. Yeah. but I feel like I could go one of the shows yeah. and still have uh-huh. a good time. Yeah. Anyway. You know? Uh, today we're, we're doing deprogrammed on insane clown posse. I'm joined by Ronald and Heidi. How are you all doing? Great. Hey, I'm doing all right. How I'm, you doing? I'm good. I'm actually really excited to do insane clown posse me because too. I, I told people I was going to do it, and I got these these looks of, yeah, you know, exactly. you're an asshole, and I got, you I, know. I didn't bother. I, I, yeah, I put it, you know, I, I, I shared it or whatever, but I'm not pushing it. But, I, yeah, just like you said, I mean, people are so judgmental about that. Um, of, all, of all bands, they've been yeah. around since, like, the late 80s. Yeah, they're going on uh, something like 30 years um, as a core unit. Yeah. It's, it's up to 26. That's yeah. awesome. Um, and... That kind of longevity, you know, especially when you're doing something as unique as they're doing, you just won't find that with any other band out there. No. Yeah. And, and so if They've you have anything negative, following. if you have anything negative to say about us, you go fuck yourself. Right. You know? Well, and also, furthermore, uh, ICP and RFR are actually kind of parallel. We're trying to take the same path they did. Yeah. You know, they didn't reach very much mainstream success. They've done almost everything they do on their own. With their mm-hmm. own label, mm-hmm. they they obviously you know they're mm, hard workers. They're very hard, and everything that they get, they put right back to their fans, mm-hmm. which I super respect them for. You know, again, you know, I was I was listening to Ringmaster, uh, and it, it doesn't hold up to me anymore. There's there's some there's still some gems. Yep. Um, I was listening to Riddlebox, however, and mm-hmm. actually Riddlebox still holds up to me. Absolutely. I was actually really enjoying myself with that. Me too. But me too. It's 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 just it's one of those things. They're they're one of the most hated bands in the world still. Actually, in 2003, Blender called them the world's worst band, and they named Shangri La, spoiler alert, my favorite album by them, as the worst album of all time, simply because they went the God route in it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The worst album ever because they went the God route. Mm-hmm. Because they they said that it was a corny joke that after all this time of them being so negative and them being so grotesque and obscene that they would just claim that they're Christians. Get the fuck out of here. Listen to the records. Like yeah. that shit was embedded in it since day one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it wasn't at the forefront, but it really was. Each Joker's card had a meaning and was pointing to are you going to go to heaven or hell when you die? Yeah. Exactly. Essentially. And that was, uh, and that was um, one of the points that people kept making. 
um, just coming down on them for having uh, Christian undertones, but uh, it has been there since the beginning. So yeah. you can't just pinpoint it like it's it's been there. It didn't come out of nowhere. Right, exactly. If you were paying attention, it was there all along. Very true. The thing that they kept saying about the Joker car- Joker's cards is when the six comes, the end will consume us all. Now that didn't happen, <laughs> and that's where that's where I fell off, to be honest with yeah. you. Because yeah. when that didn't happen, I was like, "Wait, you guys told me the world was going to end, <laughs> and then we were going to inherit the world, and you <laughs> fucking lied to me." Juggalos <laughs> inherit the world. I got this tattoo and everything, man. Yeah, I, I mean yeah. the the music fell off after Hell's Pit too. Like I I did buy the Tempest. Yeah, and you know for a brief moment in time, I really enjoyed it, and it. I don't know. It just I fell off it real quick. I, you know, part of that is just growing up. So, you yeah. know, some some music you dig, you know, when you're late teens, early twenties, and you just fall off it and never come back to it. But I, I think that was right before I got into alcohol really heavily, oh, and yeah. I was mad at the world, and they needed an outlet. Yeah, mm-hmm. and my outlet was just to go and hang out at these shows, get covered in fago. I never painted my face, but I, I got there. I won't disrespect those that, no. that do because you know they're having fun. Exactly, and um. It, it's like you said earlier. It's it felt like it was a place where I belonged. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it, the people that listen to that music, they're not as judgmental as the rest of you assholes who sit there and say, "I'm going to lose respect for you because you listen to ICP." Yeah, fuck out of here. Well, I, I got clear, nothing for you. Clearly, you had no respect for me to begin with. Yeah. Because in fact, uh, fuck out of here if you ain't down with the clown. <laughs> yeah, heard right? that. Right. All right. So, Ronald, you said uh, Shangri La is your favorite record. Yes, sir. Hmm. <sighs> Part of me wants to go Riddlebox. Part of me wants to go Malenko. Mm-hmm. Part of me wants to go Hell's Pit. Now, uh, you you mentioned it's dark, mm-hmm. and it is. It's super dark, and they obviously it's a it's a record about hell, uh, so it has to be dark. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel like they they found this nice, like as far as the songs go, like this nice, like it it fell right along what like it's a great concept. Mm-hmm. Um. And th- the sound itself is just, it's its deep, it's dark, it's mm-hmm. and it's just Shags and Jay. They didn't bring anybody else in. And, uh, you know, they, they went to the depths of hell. They didn't drag anybody with them. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I do have a little bit of respect for that album for that reason. Um, and it has a lot of gems in it. Uh, Heidi, what's mm-hmm. your favorite ICP record? It's, um, it's a toss-up between um, Riddle Box and Great Malenko. Oh. No, you know, I mean, you can't go because those still stand up. Yeah, you can't exactly. go wrong with it. Like, because even Jekyll Brothers, Jekyll Brothers, I loved mm-hmm. dearly when it came out. Like that again, that was like an everyday thing for yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Me too. But I can't listen to it anymore. I think you know, maybe if I give it a li- little bit more time, maybe like a once a year spin. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, I when I popped in Ringmaster the other day, it was the same thing. I'm like skipping tracks. I never used to do that. I yep. would just go right to the yeah. gems. Uh, Two ac- albums, th- they're not my favorites, but that actually stand up, the Bizarre Records. I'll, I'll mm-hmm. completely give you that. I I can't believe it because I didn't like them all that much when they came out. So those albums actually have a gem on it, like the greatest disc record, in my opinion, from almost any any band. Th- I agree. Either by Nas is probably the best disc record ever. But like Buried in Bizarre Bizarre, and we'll get to that one yeah. later, is, is a disc record that just... Holy God! When you hear that and you you understand who that's about, yeah, mm-hmm. dude, it blows your fucking mind. Yeah, and it and it hit me there. And I used to listen to that with, we'll we'll say the we'll use hip hop heads, mm-hmm. and they heard that and I was like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the end, it just kind of hits you. You're well, like, what? Because it doesn't sound like it's really a diss record. It just sounds like a diss record. Yeah, and see, uh, the great thing about them is like so. Embedded into a lot of their songs is that Christian message. It's not even a Christian message. It's just a decent human being yeah. message. Yeah. Don't be a judgmental dickhead. Yeah. Don't yeah. do fucked up things. But it's all buried within like this fun, just like... They're clowns. Yeah, they're clowns. And they're insane. And they're a posse. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, all in the name. Understand. It's like, all in the name. But y- you, have to, it, you have to wade through all that stuff. If you don't want to yeah. listen to the chicken hunts to listen to the... Uh, uh, what is what's one? How many times, for example? Oh, uh, God, I uh, can't wait to get into so the songs repetitive. here. When you hear those songs, you're just like, "Wow, I can't believe this is the same band that I was just listening to that says fuck every other sec." Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, it gets deeper, um, but you do have to. Yeah, they're kind of like buried gems. You kind of have to 
listen to the whole thing and then here's this great like deep dark uh, you know what i mean like in delving the- deeper than oh, i'm insane clown you know yeah. i'm gonna fucking you know shoot some shit but even with even with a song like chicken hunting it's a song about killing racist rednecks mm-hmm. yeah right. but people it, think that that it's a head of take its it time. literally yeah you know <laughs> Nobody wants to sit there and look a little bit beneath the surface because they're used to music being like right there on the surface and yeah. just mm-hmm. hey, let's bang right now. Yeah. You know? That's what right. hip hop's supposed to be about. Let's yeah. bang, let's do some drugs and let's shoot some people. Yeah. yeah. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I s- if you go back to Carnival Con- Carnage, they actually have your rebel flag where the hook is fuck your rebel flag. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> fuck your rebel flag. Is that relevant right now? Kind of, a little bit. Like <laughs> yeah, Part of Carnage was like 90, 91 maybe? Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, it was early on. Ish. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just saying, like, you don't have to get your message from them. Um, you, you, you don't have to sift through the message if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. But don't cast your hate of them onto me because I did sift through it. And yeah. I mm, do right. dig ICP. So how about we, uh, this is, this is going to be fun. Now, Every time, every show we've done so far, like, it goes into the honorable mentions. Because other than the Smashing Pumpkins one, there was not much crossover mm. on the list. So I hope you guys brought some honorable mentions. Um, I'm going to toss out a couple of mine here. Okay, so like I said, I was listening to uh, to Ringmaster, and this one still holds up. Love song. <laughs> I pref- honestly, I prefer uh, another love song. Okay, the well, first one. I was actually going to say I didn't know there was a love song. Yeah, there's love song, and then there's another love song. Yeah, that's actually amazing to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, that actually gives me a bitch. Little bit I'm knocking at your door. Let me get some Ned and Ho. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you're ugly. That's okay. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fuck hit you it anyway. anyway. Yeah, I love it. I that's great poetry. I mean, yeah. poetry emotion right there. Yeah. <laughs> It's a it's a fun little a fun little uh, beat behind it too, like a little. I mean, you know how they do, especially on on Ringmaster. It was it's, you know, not as clowny yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So was that before Mikey Clark, or was that in Mikey Clark? I think that's like the beginning of Mikey Clark. Okay, because it, we we've got to give him credit too, because yeah. like especially early on, like when he was raw with them as as they were raw, when they hit their stride, dude. It was amazing. I feel like did. I feel like that's like Ring Ma- Ringmaster and uh, Malenko, mm-hmm. which is you know arguably the peak of Insane Clown Posse, and mm-hmm. uh, definitely th- those are the two records that still really stand up. Captured what they wanted to, what they were saying. It, it, they grew as a band. They the concept wasn't there in the beginning. They really grew into it, and they really took it to places that everybody loved. Yeah. It was great. So. Ronald didn't know Love Song existed, and Heidi says she prefers another Love Song, which means Love Song is not on anybody's lists. So it's <laughs> not in. It's not Darn. in. You want to toss out an honorable mention there, Heidi? Yeah. Um, I'm Coming Home. Ooh. Ooh. Did not make my list. Yeah. Did not make my list either. Oh. Uh, he said honorable mentions. Yeah, we're talking honorable mentions. Um, we're just seeing if there's any crossover here, so... Okay. Uh, what's the honorable mention then to you guys? It, I mean, this didn't make my list. That's what you guys are talking about. Something that didn't right. make your list. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ronald, you got something on your honorable mention? Yeah, I'm gonna go with rainbows and stuff. Oh, it was all nice. bizarre. Yeah, I didn't write that down. Me Damn neither. it. Uh, but yes, that's good. That one I was actually so thinking about that one earlier. Looky, mommy, I'm <laughs> rolling with the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. It's about a dude babysitting a kid. Yeah. To get some netting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jay. I like you too. Well, it's okay. We're family, <laughs> but something uh, they flipped that switch like uh, that too. Yeah, <sighs> they did get a little rap rocky there for a little bit, and I think that's why Jekyll Brothers doesn't hold up to me. Well, I mean, it was in the time too. Yeah, totally. Now, in an offshoot, I don't know how much we can actually talk about the the actual family, but I wish this was actually including Twisted because they're to me mm. a lot better than ICP. Oh, totally. Mm. But they had probably the best rap rock album. Yep. You know, Freak Show. Uh, I loved Freak Show. I still listen to Freak Show. Yeah. And I so still. around that time, you know, they were all experimenting with the rap rock and yeah. man, they did it better than like Limp Bizkit, Linkin Park, like the the bands that were 
big for doing that shit. B bands, yeah, yeah. I get it. All right, so let's hop into lists here then. I'm guessing Ronald doesn't have this, but I'm going to toss it out here. It's off of Hell's Pit. I've got sedatives. Ooh, sedatives. Sedatives is a good one, yes. but I don't have sedatives on. I, I do have a Hell's Pit song on my list. Oh, okay. But not that one. And I'm guessing Heidi, by that blank look, does not have it sedatives. Did, uh, no. See, I'm telling you, this this gets difficult. Damn it. Do we, we have to sing the songs as we like? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I mean, if it helps. Oh, sedatives is such a good tune, though. Like, I'm, uh, do you mind if I steal the next case. one Go there, ahead. Heidi? Just because, um, like, I've got one yeah, off yeah, Hell's Pit. Yeah. So I've got Real Underground Baby. Oh, yes. Damn it. I didn't write it down. <laughs> I love Real Underground Baby. Real Underground, underground Baby. baby. Dum, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. It's actually an ICP song that Plummer likes. Huh. Underground Baby. <laughs> and I don't know if he likes it as much as he likes saying that that's specifically yeah, but that's pretty much it <laughs> what about you Heidi you got that one on your list um I didn't uh I didn't actually listen to that album oh book. okay yeah okay so I should probably not well I'm gonna toss them out anyway because I like the songs and I like to talk about them well give us one off your list uh top 10 yeah okay and we'll jump into honorable mentions if uh we still don't have 10 all right so honorable mention will be like 11 through 20 yeah is that correct yeah. Okay, then what I said was wrong pr- previously. Oh. Uh, n- headless Boogie. Oh. Number 11. Um, Fuck that. I heard that she live. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, okay, so Time off my live. off my top 10 then. Um, okay. Let me see. House of Horrors. Oh. I love that song. Okay, so look. I didn't write it down, but I'm writing it down. Because I meant to write it down. <laughs> you like Nell Carter? No. <laughs> Good, because you won't find her here. This is the House, House of, of Horrors. Horrors. <laughs> Love it. Never mind, stupid ass. Your presence is enough. <laughs> <laughs> this I, I just wrote one. down a bunch of quotes from Welcome like my favorite to songs. the House of Horrors. Come from within there. In Ooh. there. Come to the House of Horrors. Horrors. Hey. Yeah. If it helps, I'll, I'll cast my vote on that one. Here's just what because I'm it do. says Nell Carter, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm gonna put a mark by it just in case uh, we don't we don't get any more. All right, Ronald, you want to drop another one off your list? Yeah. So I'm gonna go with chicken hunting. Definitely. Yes. Who's going chicken hunting? We's, We's going, going chicken, chicken hunting. hunting. Do you have a preference, the remix or the uh, the original? Hmm. I like the remix, but. I could go with I the remix. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the remix. You know, the uh, when I was listening to Riddlebox uh, last night going home, the I used to hate the Chicken Hunt remix. Mm-hmm. Just because, for that same reason, you hate every radio song. You, mm-hmm. you hear it all the time, and that's the one, if you say you're ICP fan, oh, Chicken Hunt, uh, it hit hard. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. holy shit, this actually withstood the test of time. This is actually a really good track. Yes. So you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna write that you guys both have it I'm gonna put a mark by it yeah that was definitely one of those tracks where when you heard it you were just like all right I'm gonna go fuck somebody up right now <laughs> right <laughs> I might be five foot four a buck oh five but I'm gonna go fight somebody and kind of motherfucking chicken up right, right. <laughs> yeah okay so let's see where are we riddle box let me see what do I got out for riddle box oh no cemetery girl. Oh, uh, good one. Anybody got Cemetery Girl? No. Cemetery baby, my cemetery girl. My cemetery lady, I <laughs> want you in my world. I was listening. I actually, as I was pulling up to the house, Heidi, that's the song that was on. <laughs> I was like, nice. Oh, uh, that's great. Okay, so I'm crossing Cemetery Girl out. See how hard this is? Mm-hmm. This is, yeah. <laughs> Especially ahead. considering it seems like you two are older school juggalos, and yeah. I'm like uh, the, the late 90s, early 2000s type. Yeah. Mm. Where like a, a lot of that early stuff is a little too raw for me, and I'm just I hear it, I'm like, Ugh. but yeah. then once Jay got to smoking weed and got mm. off the lorazepam, yeah, he just hit this stride, and I'm like, this dude is an amazing rapper. Yeah, like he really Jay is. actually really is. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't get credit for it because he paints his face up like a weirdo. So well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Heidi, want to drop another one off your list? Let's see if we can't land one of these. <laughs> the show must go on. Riddle box. Oh. Man, you're hugging that riddle box. 
I don't mind. I know. I, don't, I, know. I, don't I mind. told you. I don't mind at all, but I definitely don't have it. I, I, I don't have that one either. I'm going to write that one down because I'm going to go home and I'm going to listen to these because I can't listen to them now. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ron, we'll give us another one. All right. Next up, I'm I'm going to go with how many times. How many, how many times, times must I ask myself, myself why? How, how many, many times? times? How many times? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I really like their introspective stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that that to me, when you like journey into the head of an insane clown, it it just intrigues me to why why are you guys doing this the certain way that you're doing it? You know. And it's how crazy many times will you honk your horn and say fuck, fuck you? you. No, what, what the, the fuck, fuck does, does that, that do? do? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. God. But uh, h- uh, how many times actually on my list? Actually, it's oh, I, I have it l- uh, at number nine. So does this have to be unanimous or is two out of three enough? Two out of three is enough to get it to a mark. And if mm-hmm. we have more than ten, then we s- have to start crossing okay. it out. Is, do you have how many times there, Heidi? Um, yeah. That's Wait, hold on. If it doesn't have to be, do you have it written down? Is it? An honorable mention or on your list? Because if it's anywhere, yeah, it is. there we oh go. God. Unanimously, how many times makes it? Yes. One in. All right. So let's see. Go ahead and drop another one on us, Ronald. I'm going to go with what is a juggalo? Yes. What is a juggalo? A dead juggalo. body. That's what it is. Well, fuck if I know. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking about that one today because again, I was listening to Riddlebox and they uh, born with the hatchet and a juggalo face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do not have. I do not have. What is a juggalo? I do. It's a great one All because right. it name drops Sabu, right? <laughs> you know, what is a juggalo? I'm gonna put a mark by that because you two have it. <coughs> what is a juggalo? I don't know. All right, that's what it is. Well, fuck, fuck if, if I, I know. know. All right, so if we're on Malenko, I'm gonna go ahead and drop pass me by. Hmm. They have they they have uh this record of closing out records <laughs> with yeah. with uh very deep songs. That's the one where uh I got shot. Wow. First uh, what? I, w- I woke up. I got beat down. Oh God, yeah, I, I can't, know. I, I, I know. Just heard it. I can't fucking think of the actual <laughs> lyric. Damn it. All I need all I need I got shot. Fuck. The murder the was heinous. heinous bullet went in my eyeball and out oh, my anus yeah and that was hit that was it wham woke up dead in the parking lot yeah i got dissed on pissed on and beat down mutilated and tossed out a dead clown yeah, mm. yeah. That, that actually i'm gonna add that one because that's that's another one of those ones where the introspective yeah like i think i should have put it on my list because it was an honorable mention but i now want it on my list all right so i'm gonna put a mark by it then if if we don't have enough then we'll discuss it again later Heidi, why don't you drop another one on us? Bugs on my nugs. Oh. <laughs> How did I miss that one? What? I love that one. Yeah. Uh. Nuts, we want your nuts. <laughs> we please, oh, please, we love want dirty butts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, any song about, like, bugs being on your nugs, it's just, <laughs> fuck, man. Oh. The depths that these guys went to is just... I'd put it up there with Robert Frost. They do whatever. More they did whatever the, the hell they wanted. Yeah. What do you got, Ronald? Drop another one on us. Oh man. All right. We already did that one. I, I'm gonna go a little bit more new school, so okay. it probably won't be on Heidi's list. Might be on yours. It's it's corny. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with homies off of Shangri La. Uh, Talking about road dogs of mine. Yeah. That's a good one. Real juggalo really homies. One. Damn it. I don't have that one either. But since we're on Shangri La. And I and Shangri La is your uh, favorite record. Along the same lines, I've got We Belong. Do uh, do yeah. do do do. Yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah, we can put that one on. We belong. Let's let's at least mark that one let's because we'll come back to it. God, that that whole album is just—it's really good. It it's like it's got everybody that's important. To the the psychopathic world, yeah, um, it's all of them in their stride. Even Shaggy Tudo, who, yeah, like many consider to be the weaker part of that that group. Mm, um, but dear God, man, like you listen to that album, you start it, and you just I, I don't stop it. All right, I uh, I actually remember the truck, yeah, <laughs> that you bought for me, yeah, uh, the CD player that used to be in it, yeah. ate, ate my copy of, uh, 
of uh, Shangri-La, and I haven't replaced it yet. Because, I mean, that all happened around the same time, where I started falling out of ICP, mm-hmm. and that, that got eaten up. We just grew up, man. Yeah, I, a little bit. You know? It happens. Um, okay, so I'm going to stick to my list here. Okay, I don't know if you guys have this one. Because um, I feel like it, it hit a forgotten freshness, and it was on like just a, a random like release, like the Pendulum or something. But it's an Eminem disc. Uh, nothing but a bitch thing. I love that song. <laughs> Fuck. Well, 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 uh, well, should have put well, it on well. my list. Eminem ain't nothing but a bitch. <laughs> bitch. Eminem ain't nothing but a bitch. <laughs> bitch. I love that song. Because they, they had a little trade back and forth because they did uh, Slim Anus mm-hmm. with uh, Jamie Madrox from Twisted. Mm-hmm. And then uh, M retaliated with some, it was a Ken Kniff, Ken Kniff. bit. <laughs> oh, Shaggy Doo Dope, yeah. 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 And so they came back with a full on song. Oh, and man. if you ask me, they won there. But I, yeah, I guess definitely. technically he won because he never came back. He had MTV. Yeah. He had MTV behind him. They had Jive. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing but a bitch thing? No, we can. Well, I don't know. I think we should do a category for the Eminem disses because I feel like. <laughs> I feel like w- that should just be one of them. Yeah, because there's another one. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and shoot yeah, that one out Yeah, you want to drop there. that one out there? Uh, please don't hate me. Hell yeah. Yes. Please uh, don't hate me, but I've been fucking your mom loose lately. Yeah. <laughs> please don't hate me. I'm sorry. I never said I loved a hoe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the greatest magic. part about that song is like, you are just you listen to the song, the first time you hear this song, you're like, Okay, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Because it's just like it's like an acoustic jam. Yeah, <laughs> you're like this is Dave Matthews kind of singing. Yeah. Okay. And then at the end, when like the reveal happens, and you're like, "Holy shit, that was about Eminem's <laughs> mom!" Like, right. I'll talk to you later. Peace, Eminem. Ooh, <laughs> damn, somebody got straight fucked up. Like, <laughs> come on, man. I I have that one at number four. Yeah. That's my number four favorite song. Is oh it on yours, God. Heidi? No. Oh, okay, so I'm marking it, though, because it's got two of us. It's because she two. loves Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's <Harsh>. spaghetti. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, don't know if, I don't know if this is going to hit you guys or not. I've got the loons off a of ringmaster. I'm a neck cutter, and I'm three blocks away. I'm a neck cutter, and I'm three blocks away. I'm a neck cutter, and I'm three blocks away. J. J. Violent J. No? Nope. God, I love the loons. That's such a great tune. Okay, fine. Jerks. What do you got, Heidi? <laughs> Three ring a ding a ding ding. I was People listening to that today, to damn it. And, and stare. Three ring a ding a ding ding. It's the same, same as everywhere. everywhere. If Ronald has it, I'll put a mark by it, but it looks like he doesn't. I'm sorry, I don't have that. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. You want to drop another one on us? Well, it's hard. See? I mean, it's not as... E- I mean, Shit. it's hard enough putting your own top ten together and then trying to compile one with two other people. Give us another one, Heidi. <sighs> it's also a little bit of a chess game. Right. Because you have to figure out where where the other people are in the, the conversation. Uh, toy box. <sighs> I oh almost gosh. added that. The I sound effects in that one. Yeah. Yeah. The, the fucking sound effects. Isn't that a Pee-wee's Playhouse? Playhouse? Yep. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. Oh, man. There's just so much to their catalog that this chess match is getting hard. Yeah. And, it, you know, but the thing about Riddlebox is it it's very, very carnival, very, very clowny. Yeah. I, I think that's why, why I enjoy it and why it, it actually sticks up a little bit more. What do you got, Ronald? Drop another one on us. I'm going to go a little bit uh, radio single friendly on this one. Another right. love song. Okay. I don't have it, but do you? I do have okay, it. Okay, so we're going to put a mark by another love song. I mean, it got them radio play. It did. Mm-hmm. And it not did. much did at that time. And uh, the craziest part was like hearing this song on 96X, and you're like, what yeah. the f- fuck? Like, is my CD in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? It's like, do these people know what this song is about? <laughs> I go by <laughs> you <laughs> a <little> <laughs> with, with a white leather interior. interior. I, I could. could. It's like a straight <laughs> Beck, like he, he jacked Jackass, I think. Oh, <laughs> man. It's a Beck song. No, I think that was their attempt at being a boy band. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you know, another well, thing, I, they did on Bizarre. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, dude, Radio Stars. Oh! 
Oh, I just now thought about that. Yeah, one. I actually Fuck. was gonna write that one down too, but I didn't. So unless Heidi has Radio Stars already, no, I think we're cheating too much uh. if we do that. <laughs> we're already cheating a little bit here. Uh, let's see. You just dropped another love song, and we got a mark by it. Uh, I worry about this one because it's a forgotten freshness jam, but it's my favorite ICP song of all time. So I'm bringing the heavy hitters. I'm I'm load them up. I didn't mean to kill them. Ah, uh, mm. great song. I thought you were gonna say Santa's a fat bitch. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> but <laughs> Santa Claus is a fat bitch. <laughs> I, these songs are stupid, but they're fucking great. Yeah. Like, how do you not like a song? Santa's a fat bitch. Because man, the people that don't like ICP are the people that take themselves way too seriously, and they've yeah. got their heads up their asses. Yeah, they can't pull back and enjoy it. For they're the it people is. Nate were talking about earlier on Facebook, who they've got to be smarter than you. Yeah. You know, totally. I know one specific person. I'm not going to name him, <laughs> but he likes the Beatles and he hates ICP. Hmm. To me, there's something really wrong there. <laughs> yeah. Synonymous. Yeah. Tavistock, bro. Listen to Ron to the Hills tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find that one out. Uh, let's see. I just dropped one on you guys, right? And I missed, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about give us another one, Heidi? Piggy Pie. Oh, my God. It's on my list. <coughs> okay, oh, so nice. It's on my list. Let's put a... But again, that's like one of those ones where it's it's taking a look at society. Mm-hmm. Come and get it! <laughs> <laughs> I love Piggy Pie, but it, it it it's one of those rap rock songs where they really like delved into a yeah. lot of guitars. You know, it's before like it's not as much as where they went with uh, the Jekyll Brothers, but still. Um, let's see what else do I have off of. Malenko, since we're there, I've got okay. This came in as an honorable mention, but I've got underneath the moon. Me too. Ooh, I don't have. Okay, that but one. it's getting a mark because Heidi has it. So, so there. All right. Well, drop another one. Asanas Ronald. I've got behind the paint. Oh, it's off bizarre. Such, such a good one. It really is. That those those bizarre albums just. Fuck, man. You know, you know what I think about those, those the bizarre records. I feel like they were supposed to be the Wraith initi- initially, and they didn't they didn't think they were strong enough to be the Wraith, and uh, I think they wanted to do the Wraith like as their own thing. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I remember reading something about like they were having um, like uh, record issues. They had to get like they had to yeah. make three records to get out of their deal. So they did Bizarre Bizarre as t- two separate records, and then Forgotten Freshness three. I think. I don't don't hold me to that. I I my, I drank a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I actually was reading a little bit about that earlier, and uh, Island Record wouldn't let them off until they came up with it was four more albums. Oh. So it was it was bizarre, biz- bizarre, forgotten freshness, and I forget what the fucking name. I want to say they did an actual like they did shockumentary. Ah uh, yes. And that's what after that they were just like free. Funny enough though. The only platinum, they've got two platinum records, and they both came with Island Jive, which is Malenko and Amazing Jekyll Brothers. Mm. Malenko got a lot of play because Disney dropped them. Yeah. And that was, you know, it was crazy, but it was it was a massive pub that, getter for That's him. what got me into them. I remember yeah. reading, I read a Daily Press article about the ICP and about how uh, Hollywood Records, Disney, dropped them, and they were just like, yeah, we're not going to put your shit out because three songs off the album well since we're talking about disney i'm gonna toss this one out here it made an honorable mention michael eisner can suck my dick (laughs) everybody rise i've got everybody rise as an honorable mention i've got it as an honorable mention too michael eisner can suck my dick if he's got some kind of problem with my shit everybody jumps to the juggalo sound fuck out of here if you ain't down with the clown god damn I haven't listened to Jekyll Brothers in years. Yeah, I loved it. That's one of those lines when you hear it, you're like, "He's yeah. right." I don't know Michael <laughs> Eisner, but he's fucking right. Yeah, fuck skin color. Everybody's blue. Then what would all you bigots do? <laughs> Fuck out of here. All right, so I'll put a. Everybody rise was not on your list. Mm-mm. Okay, so I'm gonna put a mark by it though. Uh, you wanna? Where are we, Ronald? Do you want it? Because I just kind of jacked it to put everybody rise out there yeah um i'm gonna go with fuck the world (sighs) if only could i'd set the world on fire fuck the world i uh, i feel like beastie boys and the dalai lama i feel like i uh i 
purposely avoided Jekyll Brothers. Ah, oh, dude. Mm. Yeah. It's one of those ones like y- you've got to when you put it on, you have to give it a couple seconds to do 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 to kind of yeah. get into yeah. it. Yeah. And like fuck give it to me. In the this old song dirty I say bastard fuck 93 times. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. That was actually a shot at Limp Bizkit. Did yeah. you know that? Oh really? Yeah, because Fred Durst at that point said I say fuck 47 times on this song and <laughs> like Jay's like what the f- are you serious right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the the late 90s early 2000s took from ICP in some way shape or form. Yeah. They just yeah. they never gave him fucking credit for yeah. it. Yeah. And they tried to laugh at him. Mhm. Uh go ahead and drop another one on us, Heidi. All right. So um, far we still only have the one that has gotten through legitimately. How many times has gotten through? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. It's not easy, but it sure is fun. I don't think we talked about Boogie Woogie Woo yet. No, we did not. It is uh, my favorite song. Oh, really? One woogie, of my favorite top woogie, five. Woogie Woogie Woo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's on my list. Uh-huh. Little right. Jimmy Jimmy. Got him. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why I didn't have that, but yeah. Boogie Woogie Woo. Damn it. Well, again, like I, I think where I, I faulted putting my list together is I was trying to be very diplomatic. I was trying to pick from like a little of everything because mm. really I wasn't sure where you guys were. Like I said, it's a little bit of a chess game. My te- my top ten are absolutely my favorite top ten, but like with my honorable mentions, I was playing a little chess, trying to get a little of everything in here. Uh, well, okay, well let's toss this one out here because I feel like it's a heavy hitter. It didn't make my list. It's an honorable mention. I feel like it's a heavy hitter and it hasn't been mentioned yet. Dead Body Man. That's a great song. But I didn't I don't have it on my list oh. or my honorable mention. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. Ronald, what you got? I can't believe it. That's a heavy hitter. I'm I've surprised. Got Hall of Illusions. Oh yes. Man, God damn it. Let's take Me a too. walk down the hallway. Ooh, it's a long way. It, it takes, takes all day. day. Oh, that's a good one too, because it's again looking when at society. At the end, you'll see a chair. And it, you know, it's talking about the guy who beats his wife and kids and mm-hmm. yeah all those, yeah god like damn it. what uh you know like the consequences of all your shitty uh actions yeah and it's it i like it's the reverse like ghost of christmas past where it like shows you what yeah. would life would be like without you there yeah and it's like you're a fuck <laughs> yeah and you're fucked <laughs> yeah yeah uh okay um damn i I th- I want to toss out this Hell's Pit song. Yeah, I've got two more Hell's Pit songs. I think I don't think I'm gonna land either of them. Hmm, do I? I'll go with the one that's on my list. It's actually my number two song. Actually, I can go ahead and cross didn't even kill him because it didn't make it. Uh, I've got bowling balls. Your head would mean so much to me. Your head would mean so much to me. <laughs> uh, it's it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous concept. Violent J is cutting people's heads off and keeping them in his basement. For to be bowling balls, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely ludicrous. Well, it fits in line with the whole theme of that album. Oh yeah, because they're ri- they're ridiculous. They're yeah. sick fucks in that record. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they're in hell. Exactly. Well, they are hell in that that whole yeah. record. All right. So bowling balls misses. There's another heavy hitter on my list. Do you want me to toss it out, or do you guys want to take another stab? Let's let's go with your your heavy hitter there. I I don't know what I'm gonna think if this doesn't doesn't make it. Super Bowls. Yep, that's on my list. Ain't no bitch too fat. Ain't, Ain't no, no bitch, bitch too whack. Ain't, Ain't no bitch too, too ugly for, for Super, Super Bowls. Woo woo. That's number three on my list. <laughs> Ain't no bitch too fat. Oh, so Heidi doesn't have I don't have even it. know okay. that song. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. okay. Okay. Well, that's uh, understandable yeah. because she's a woman and yeah. that song is kind of offensive to women. A little bit. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, let's see, songs that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> The oh. Net in Game. You oh. hate that song? Yes, I hate it. I Wait, that it. song's on my list, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I just cringe. I cringed when I listened to it. I'm like, mm, no. I haven't listened mm-hmm. to it in a while. I used to love it. I don't know if it holds up. Uh, bitches from uh, Jekyll Brothers. Oh, yeah. On my list as well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but hold on. Old hold Dirty. On. In my defense, that, that song is only on my list because... When they got uh, ODB to come in there and do that track, like he just went in there and rambled, and they had to spend two weeks going through whatever he was rambling to get like those four lines of rhymes <laughs> that he had. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, God. 
I go ahead and mark that off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think that one's getting in. Mark that one off. <laughs> <laughs> Toss one that uh, is still around, Ronald. Um, oh fuck, we're getting to the dredge here. Uh, I've got my axe. My oh. axe is my buddy. I bring him when I walk. Why didn't I put that down? Mm. And my axe will make your head a bloody stump. Oh. Bizarre, bizarre. So fucking good. And you can also kind of tell where I've done my research at because, like, it's like I go back and I listen to Riddlebox and Carnival and, and Ringmaster, and I'm just kind of like, this, I don't really like this. Yeah. Oh, that's and too it's bad. just, it's because it's too raw for me. Yeah. Like, when I hear it, it's just kind of like, I, and, and, I like the the finished product. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, well, and you know, bizarre, bizarre. Pretty much from bizarre on is really polished, mm-hmm. and you know, even Jekyll Brothers to an extent. Yeah. It, it's there's a polished sound as polished as. I feel like Jekyll Clowns Brothers was get. like them trying to portray to the MTV pop crowd. Yeah, mm-hmm. because it's kind of like a radio-ish friendly. You know, I mean, as, as to an friendly extent. as they're gonna get. Yeah. yeah, and I mean that's where they cut their hair, and mm-hmm. you know they. They, it looked like they were trying to look the part, and I mean, I don't know, you know, maybe all that is fitting into wh- why I can't go back to it. But all right, so you've got a bizarre song. I'm gonna go ahead and toss out another bizarre song. Take me away. I live for the carnival. I I live for. I die for. Uh, to take me away. Carnival. Yeah. Okay. Blank stairs. Mm. Didn't land. That's okay. Uh, it didn't land. Saddens me because it's a good one, man. Yeah. Oh, that's how I felt about my axe too. I thought about mm-hmm. it, and I wanted to write it down, but I didn't. Toss, toss another one out at us, Heidi. Uh, the juggler. Juggler, juggler, fuck with the juggler. You can't fuck with the juggler. Okay, it's I'm not on your list? It's not, but I'm going to write it down because uh, when I was listening to it the other day, I meant to write it down, and I don't keep my pad with me. So I'm, gonna b- I'm putting the juggler on here. Can't fuck with the juggler. Is that the first time we've mentioned Carnival of Carnage? Anything from I there? I believe so. Other than I briefly mentioned your rebel flag. Yeah. Yep. I do have Ghetto Freak Show as a uh, as a uh, honorable mention. Does anybody else have Ghetto Freak Show? No. Nope. Very uh, deep track. G- 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 ghetto Freak Show. G- g- ghetto. It hits really, really hard. Okay, Ronald, what you got? Oh You're probably <laughs> winding down here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm getting to the dredges, like I'm saying. I, I've got. I've. S- I stab people. I stab uh, people for four five, or five people every day. day. <laughs> people, five skinny people. One, two, three. I'm. I'm down to my last four. How many do you guys have? I've got three left. Okay, so we're about right. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just toss these three. Let me see if any of these three land. I've got the dead one, nope. get get off me dog, all evil eye. Mm-mm. See, these are all in the, the all over my head. Yeah, where Ronald was staying away from. Yeah. So none of those landed. No, no we. I mean, we've got enough that we can start weeding down after we get through you, what you guys have left. What do you got left, Ronald? I've got tilt a whirl. Ooh, oh, good one. It yeah. was a, it was another little radio friendly. Uh, Ish, yeah. ish, hit yeah. they bad. Um, I've got let's go all the way. It's a good cover. Funny enough, yeah, that's the reason I like it is because like their cover is better than the original. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my last one is I want my shit. <laughs> uh, uh, that uh, just God, yeah, man. I, I wrote it down, but I uh, didn't make it. Okay. All he wants is this shit. Just <laughs> I forgot that uh, I have suicide hotline on here as well from mm. from Hell's Pit. So I'm guessing that one didn't no. make anybody's cut. All right, what you got, Heidi? Uh, I don't think we talked about um, Joker's Wild. Oh, Great everything goes show. in the Joker's Wild. Oh my God, I literally just listened to that like on the way over. Damn it! It's a great sh- <laughs> man. It's endlessly qu- quotable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we we're we're gonna. If you want to run through what you got left, or is that it? Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus, choke his ride. Come take a spin on a car. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. You just say the name and <laughs> like it automatically yeah. floods back. I don't remember the last time I listened to Malenko. Uh, okay, so shall we start chopping some out then? Yeah. Because we only got a couple minutes left. 
All right. How many times is in? It made it. It's the only one, only one that legitimately makes it. All right. So now we got to start cutting out. We need nine spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we need to get rid of five. All right. So we'll start here. Um, chicken hunting. What is a juggalo? Piggy pie. Another love song. Boogie woogie woo. Super balls. Please don't hate me. Nothing but a bitch thing. Pass me by. Under the moon. Everybody rise. We belong. House of horrors. And the juggler. Hmm. I feel like Ronald didn't actually have we belong, right? You just said I didn't. I, I said I would put it on there because it, it falls under the whole like Shangri-La being. Yeah. Just. So I feel like I think we can ax that one just because it didn't it didn't legitimately make it. It wasn't on at least two of our lists. Yeah. Okay. So we need to ax four more. Mm. Did anybody have a feeling about any of those one way or the other? I can't say because I haven't heard like three of those songs. Okay. So which if ones? If I just axed them out, then that would be. Well, which ones? Um, I don't know. Was it Super Bowls? Yeah. You hadn't Super heard Balls. Super Bowls. Okay, so I mean, it's n- it wouldn't be a very accurate list if you hadn't heard Super Bowls. Yeah, and and considering like what you said you didn't like earlier, I don't think you would like yeah, that song so at all. Okay. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Nah, bitch, Super uh, Balls is the name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and come from the far away <laughs> planet. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, please don't hate me. Ain't getting cut. <laughs> I'm you saying we could just consolidate those into the M and M disses. Yeah, <laughs> I, I get what you're saying, but I mean, if we're gonna keep one, I think I'd rather keep. Please don't hate me because it's it's more cerebral. Yeah, like I mean, they're literally saying M and M ain't nothing but a bitch. bitch. And though I love the song, at least you know you know the, it's the, an undertone. Please don't yeah. hate me. You don't know until the end of the song. Yeah. Yep. Anybody have a problem with that? Nope. All right, so we're going to lose nothing but a bitch thing. Uh, what w- what else didn't you hear? Um, stuff from... Uh, shit, what was it? Let's see. It couldn't have been Under the Moon or Everybody Rise. Um, yeah, I really, lo- I really like Everybody Rise, but it, it didn't make my list. But I really like it, so I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We still need to lose two. Okay. So how many times? Please don't hate me. And everybody rise are in. So does anybody have a feeling one way or the other about pass me by or under the moon? Do we want to lose one of those? <sighs> no. Nah. Pass me by. I think we should lose. If, if we're gonna keep, <laughs> if we're gonna lose mm-hmm. one of the two, I think under the moon. Yeah, I think. Under the m- keeping under the moon. Okay, we need to lose one more. Okay, da, 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 da. I feel like what is a juggle is essential. Yeah. Definitely. So I feel like, well, we only have the one radio hit, right? Well, we got chicken hunting, another love song. I feel like we could probably lose another love song, just because yeah. it's kind of like the cheesier of the two radio singles. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's our ten. Boom. All right, so let's review real quick, and then we'll uh, get on out of here. We got Chicken Hunting, Piggy Pie, What is a Juggalo, Boogie Woogie Woo, Please Don't Hate Me, How Many Times, Under the Moon, Everybody Rise, House of Horrors, and The Juggalo. Very Malenko heavy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very Malenko heavy list. I mean, it, again, I we said this at the beginning and said it several times. Malenko is one of the ones that still holds yeah. up. Yeah, it does. So it's it's definitely. it's actually a, a pretty well rounded album. Riddlebox yeah. does for me too. Yeah, I feel like that that could be a blank CD or a mix CD that you give to somebody and say, "Here's the essential ICP." Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's do not it. a bad idea. No, uh, I'm gonna. I usually make a Spotify playlist. I don't. I think ICP's on the Spotify machine. Yeah. Yeah. I was so listening to it. So I'll uh, I'll I'll do that, and then I find links. I I put a li- nice little article uh, together so people can listen to it and judge for themselves. Don't judge us. Perfect. Yeah. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> we'll see. Check this one out too. So when when uh, Shakespeare was talking last week about 
my show getting us arrested. Yeah. This show is actually going to get us put onto the FBI's <laughs> most wanted list. It is true. Uh, because they consider Juggalos to be a gang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. A loose so. gang. A loose yeah. gang. Mm. What does that even mean? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Man, I had fun talking ICP with you guys, though. Me too. You don't. It's not every day you get to talk ICP with anybody. Is that it? The fucking hour it's is gone. Pretty much, yeah. We, we've uh, Dead Week is coming up next. Um, we've got minutes left. Like <sighs> that's it. That's brutal, man. I f- well, I mean, I feel like there's more we could talk about. We haven't talked about their movies. We haven't talked about mm. like their wrestling career. We haven't talked about their impact yeah. on society. We haven't talked about hatchet gear. Yeah. We didn't I have to talk about the gathering, dude. I went to the gathering in 2001. It's yeah, one of the most cool. fun things I've ever done. Yeah. Like, it was, people want to, I mean, it, it, again, it evolved into it evolved into something else. It's, you know, being an old dude, <laughs> looking at it now is kind of scary. But in 2001, I was 20 when I went. So, it, it was nothing but love, and mm-hmm. it was mad fun. I went with your brother yep. and, and DJ, and it was a blast. We just hung out in Toledo, Ohio for three days. John that actually, like... Fun. like asked for my id for that oh, really? so he could get that tattoo <laughs> <laughs> so it's like yeah sure whatever dude uh, by by the third day this is uh, the tickets were like a hundred something dollars mm-hmm. and it was for the for the three-day gimmick and by the third day we're just exhausted but we still managed to have fun by hijacking an elevator at some point in the day mm. we just took a, we took like a velvet rope and made a vip section in the <laughs> elevator <laughs> And said, hey, you want to come into the VIP section? And we just hung out in the elevator for, <laughs> for like, I don't know, six hours until the show awesome. started. And it was a great time. And, you know, you do that in some places and people are going to look at you funny. Mm-hmm. But you do that at the Gathering of the Juggalos and people are like, cool. I think that's funny. I w- I'm in. Yep. It, it, dude, there's so many parallels between, like, fish concerts and ICP concerts. Like, yeah. The only thing that separates them is the band playing the music on the stage. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Hippies and fucking juggalos are one and the goddamn same. They all just want to smoke weed, drink, get fucked up, and do funny, stupid things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's the program for the week. And, uh, again, Heidi, Ronald, thank you for talking ICP with me. Uh, we had a great time. It was it, This actually was a little bit easier than, than most of the other D programs. Yeah. I mean – it, there was a lot of work in it, like as far as we had to do some workarounds mm-hmm. to get our 10. But uh, as far as us coming together and making our 10, it was actually that's easier. Cause that's because that's what we juggalos do. Yeah. We come together. <laughs> we come together. Wait, that's, that's not, not them. ICP. Right, that's, that's not them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, magic, so. magic, ninja, what? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you dig deprogramming, even if you didn't, um, if you dig Dead Week, if you dig Popped, if you, if you dig anything that this station is doing, Please make your way to patreon.com slash radio free radio. Give us a buck. You know, yeah, it, it gives you access to, you know, everything that, that this station does, um, every show, every mm-hmm. back episode. Mm-hmm. But that's not what's important. You're giving us a dollar, and a dollar means much more than I could put words to to us right now. We have eleven patrons and forty dollars. I don't like putting numbers out there. We have eleven patrons and they mean the world to us. Eleven patrons Forty dollars a month, and eleven people have decided Radio Free Radio is worth investing their money into. And words cannot express how much that means to us. Darius just walked in, and uh, we got to get ready for uh, Dead Week here, so we're gonna go out and and pass it on out, and get the Ringmaster's word on the way out. I'm Justin, and this has been Deprogrammed. Yeah,